Good evening and welcome to Eye on the Keys. We have a guest host here this evening on Eye on the Keys. I'm going to be out of town for the next few weeks doing some business in New York. Uh, we got a great lineup this week. We have State Representative Ron Saunders and we got some good surprises coming up in the future. So I will see you all in a few weeks when I get back from New York. In the meantime, Ron, break a leg. Well, thank you, Peter, and I hope you have You're an very enjoyable vacation. Thanks. Yes, Ron Carter. Uh, the Sunset Celebration in Key West is a very important thing to us down on Mallory Square, and Ron has been very involved in working with the city to try to reach an agreement on the celebration. So we'd like to welcome Ron Carter, the noodle man from Mallory Square. Thank you, Ron. Thank you very much, Ron. I appreciate your having me on uh, Eye on the Keys. Uh, it's uh, been rather upsetting recently uh, at the Sunset Celebration because of the uh, trouble that we seem to be having getting some kind of arrangement with the city commission. Uh, they've made it awfully difficult for us. The Cultural Preservation Society was originally organized to protect us from a hostile city hall. And it seems that we are again dealing with a hostile city hall. They've made it very difficult for us to uh, stay on the dock. We have asked for a lease that would allow us to uh, enforce our own bylaws. That way we can run a better sunset celebration for Key West. The uh, City Commission has um, made it very difficult for us. They uh, just this last week on October the 2nd, the lease agreement which we finally hammered out with Port and Transit Authority, uh, Virginia Panico, asked for a contingency clause. So here we are now back to square one. Do you feel that contingency uh, clause creates a problem? I believe the contingency clause was a clause that uh, made a contingent upon the Department of Natural Resources or DNR's uh, approval of the cruise ships being docked there. Is that correct? That is correct. It's a contingency clause for that. But of you all the things... Do you see that being a problem? I mean, wh why would you say that that would be a problem with the contract? And do you anticipate that the department will be uh, uh, hard to get that, uh, that clause uh, approved, or, or what is your, your reason for concern there? Well, if they don't approve it, we have no lease. Well, do you have any indications, though, that they would not approve it? Yes, there's a very good chance that they will not approve it because this is only now between the city commission and the CPS. We're just so many people, actually a small group compared to the entire city. There are many people in the city that might not want to see ships obstructing their view of sunset. Now, if the CPS says it's okay with them, that is an, uh, an organization of 120 people. That's not the entire city. Well, they haven't agreed, though, to, uh, as my understanding, they haven't agreed that the cruise ships would block sunset. In fact, I thought that was part of the agreement was that the uh, ships would have to vacate the uh, Mallory Square area before sunset. Not according to Sue Barossa who spoke on October the 2nd and said that she would like to have ships in there at night. Well, and she's the one, I, I understand, that uh, does a lot of the phone calls to the shipping lines, to the cruise ships. Um, so that, that worries me a little bit, I that she has concerned. spoken about, oh, well, we want ships at night. Mm -hmm. Well, we'd have to certainly look in that because I think that the citizens of the Keys and Key West would be very concerned if uh, the the ships were there blocking the sunset because the Mallory Square celebration is a very important part of our tourist economy as well as cruise ships and there should be no reason why they couldn't coexist there. Um, I would go ahead and, and well, I'm going to be in Tallahassee next week and so I'll be happy to talk to the Department of Natural Resources to see if there's any problem with the agreement but I would certainly want to make that agreement uh, contingent upon the cruise ships not being at Mallory Square at sunset because w we do want to have the cruise ships here they're good for our local economy. On the other hand, so is the Sunset Celebration, and we certainly wouldn't yes. want anything to ruin that, too. So we'll, we'll go ahead and work on that in the Tallahassee end, but I would encourage you to continue working with the uh, CPS and City Commission to try to uh, get some type of agreement there because it's too important a celebration to let some disputes uh, get in the middle of it. Well, we feel that the City Commission really doesn't trust the state. I have a quote from Virginia Panico. Uh, I have a tape here of the commission meeting, and this is one of the quotes that she made, and this is referring to the state of Florida and Tallahassee. She says, sometimes the state has no common sense. We all know that. At that point, Jimmy Weekly agreed with her. She went on to say, I'm afraid I'd like to see everything in writing because they have screwed us royally in the past, and they're going to do it again. 
Now, when I hear a city commissioner say something like that about the state of Florida, I worry about negotiations. Well, I'm particularly concerned since uh, I'm the representative to the Florida legislature and, and the, uh, the key's main contact with the state. I've never been contacted by the city in, the, in this uh, situation at all. So I, I'm learning more about it tonight than I've learned from the city. And uh, hopefully we'll have better communications. And that's one of the things I was talking about with Commissioner Weekly earlier. And so I, I am uh, kind of surprised that they haven't contacted me if they have been having problems with the state because that's part of my job. It's not just uh, to represent all the constituents, but also in particular some of the governmental bodies. And so I'll be happy to work with the commission, but sometimes they have to ask for help first. But in this case, since you are very concerned, it is a very big issue for the citizens of the Keys, I certainly will look into it next week in Tallahassee and try to uh, see if we can work out that situation. All right, thank you very much. We do appreciate you being on the show tonight, though, so keep up the work and keep uh, cooking those great noodles out there. We saw your picture in the paper last week and a very exciting lot of great publicity there. In the yeah. newspaper. So keep up the good work and uh, keep those tourists coming. Ron, I thank you very much. Thank you for being here, Ron.